Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I just woke up and I'm gonna go to Starbucks. And I'm I'm not going alone. I have a little friend with me, me and Mr. Poochas. We're gonna go to Starbucks. We're gonna go to Starbucks. Mr. Poochas is gonna get a pup cup. Ah, Look at him peeking over the wheel. Poochas, you think you know how to drive? I haven't been to Starbucks in a while, actually. I've just been making my coffee at home because it's cheaper. And Starbucks is more of like a little treat, you know what I mean? So it's been a while and I'm gonna go get it. All right, guys, here we go. Are you excited, buddy? He loves whipped cream. Yeah, I know, it was so crazy, Boots, huh? There he is! Are you excited, Boots? Yeah. He's excited. Why are we allowed to take dogs places, but we can't take cats places? I don't like it. I look so rough right now, and I'm hoping a coffee is going to cure that. Oh, <gasps> it's our turn. It's our turn, Boots. Oh, can I do a grande pistachio cream cold brew? Fortunately, uh, we're out of our pistachio. Okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Can I do the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Grande. And then can I get like a puppuccino for my dog? Of course. Awesome, thank you. Guys, guys, I got scared and I said dog. I feel like they wouldn't have known what I was talking about if I was like, hey, like, girly pops, can I get a little frappuccino for my cat? Boots, come here. They're gonna think I'm nuts if there's no dog in my front seat. Boots, please, I'm begging you. Come here, come here. Come here, Bubba. They're gonna be so excited to see you, Bubba. <laughs> Thank you, have a good one. Guys, did y'all see Boots leap out of my lap? I don't even think the man saw him. Boots, come on, buddy. What was that? I have this for you, come here. Okay, we just got home, and I figured I'd find his sister up here. This is Cora. I just built these giant cat towers the other day, and honestly, I'm regretting it because now she doesn't want to come sit on my lap because these are comfier. Hey guys, some time has passed. I also decided, but you probably already saw from the thumbnail, that I am gonna be attempting to crochet today. I bought a bunch of yarn three, four months ago, and I attempted it once and got frustrated and never picked it up again because I broke my collarbone, had one arm, you know, the usual. I need you guys to give this video a thumbs up right now and comment a yarn emoji to give me good luck on my crocheting endeavors. Okay, it's been like two seconds for you, but it's been like an hour for me. Here's the look. I recorded a video where I did my makeup using the horse filter. So if you wanna see that, I'm sure that's on my shorts at this point. But now it is crochet time. I'm gonna show you guys my new filming room that I have been working on. Oh wait, why am I kind of slaying from this angle? Hello highlighter. Yes, queen. Oh wow. I'll talk I'll talk to you guys in a second. I got the rug. I'm so excited. Oh wow. It's it's really in there good. Yay! It's pink and it has swirlies on it. Which way does this go? Okay guys, here is the rug, but let me show you guys what I've been working on in here. See, there's a little sign that says Cindy Morgan, and I'm working on the decor on the wall, so if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. Okay, now the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my God, I almost knocked over my water jug. That would've been so bad. So I have these books, and this is what I wanna know how to do. By the end of this, I wanna be able to make like little stuffed animals like this. Like, are you kidding me, this mushroom? And what is this? This is some sort of unicorn cat fairy? I don't know, but I want one. So I have zero experience with crochet. I don't know the first thing about it. So I don't know if this is hard or not. People that know how to crochet are probably laughing at me right now, cause I stand no chance. Oh my God, the lion? It's so cute. How did they do that? Look at it. Crochet magical creatures 20 easy patterns it says it's easy so <coughs> let me see what do I want to know how to make I think I'm gonna do the mushroom and I'm gonna do like the base of it yellow the little head of it is gonna be pink and then the dots will be white actually screw the yellow base is gonna be white head of it's gonna be pink dots are gonna be green so it's gonna be like a little Watermelon mushroom. Guys, I don't know. I'm getting nervous because I want it to be good. I don't want you guys to like think I'm not talented. Are you kidding me? It's all words. There's not even pictures of step-by-step -step process. 
What the heck? Okay, so after some research, I figured out the first thing we need to do is a slip knot. So I turned back to the beginning of our page and I'm gonna be attempting a slip knot. I may not be doing this the correct way, but I think I think we're getting the result we're looking for. It's not about the journey, guys. It's about the destination. Look at me go! Look at me go! I pulled up a video. What the heck is a slip stitch? Oh my god. I don't think I'm like, my fingers aren't nimble enough for this, you know what I mean? I just went down to my front door because my doorbell went off and I got a bunch of packages. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing. So the first thing we got came in this very interesting envelope that says, do not bend. And it is pictures of gummy bear mug shots. Next I got this remote. It says emergency cat on it. My cat is in the room and she just got so Traumatized from that. It made her come to me. <laughs> Little kitty. It's another sound remote. I got this button that says dance party. 30 second dance party. A, a thousand sheets of origami paper because at 3 a.m. I decided I was gonna learn how to do origami. I got this. Oh, wait, I look so cute. To be honest, I'm pretty sure I got the hang of it, so I'm not even gonna follow directions anymore. I'm just gonna go rogue and hope for the best because I feel like, you know what, how hard could it be? See, look, it's this is the top of the head of the mushroom. See, it's like a little circle. I'm doing so good, please. Okay, update. It's been probably like at least a half an hour and I can see why people like it. Do I know what I'm doing? No, but I'd like to know what I'm doing. And also, I think I underestimated the amount of time that this takes because this little thing right here, I've been working on this for like an hour and a half. Okay guys, this is the top of my mushroom. Anyways, we're gonna put her off to the side for a second. And now I'm making the base of the mushroom. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not following any directions for this at all because I'm just so through. I feel like I can do it better and faster if I just make it up myself. So I'm just gonna make like a straight chain. Okay guys, update, here's the base of my mushroom. Now how do we connect these together is the question. Let me cut this off. Okay guys, now are we ready for the reveal? Three, two, one. Here it is! This is my little mushroom. I made it all by myself. I know I'm super talented, guys. Stuff like this just comes really natural to me. Um, so basically, I think I'm the best crocheter to ever walk the earth. It's actually kind of sad that it doesn't have eyes. Should we add some? Let me grab a marker. Didn't exactly go as planned. Look, it's so cute. And you guys just wait. I actually liked this experience and I want to learn how to do it and get good at it. So this is, this is to remind us where we started. I think that's very important. We need to humble ourselves sometimes and I would say that this experience definitely did it for me Thank you guys for watching and until next time. Bye guys <laughs>